going to change the oil on the um, Civic Type R just now. Um, so you can obviously jack the car up and undo the, the sump plug and go about that way. But an even easier way is to use one of these tools. It's basically just a suction pump, put it in there, suck it, and then all you're doing is basically sucking out the dipsticks. The dipsticks are pretty much the lowest point of the engine and uh, in terms of the sump uh, where the oil collects. So make sure you're the whole way down. There you go. Don't just put it in and think you're the whole way, you have to wiggle it and then it goes a fair amount lower in than that. Make sure it's obviously clean first. That's the whole way to the bottom. Wipe this. And then, so you know, don't have to jack the car up or anything, it's the nicest thing about this. Oh, think. And you see, there's all the dirty oil. So that will take a bit of time. Another thing that's good to do. There you go. If you loosen that, it should come out a little bit easier. And you're going to have to fill up anyway. So just leave that prop there so nothing can get in it. That's down the bottom. And then just every now and then, just make sure you've got enough vacuum in there just to suck the oil out. Once that's done, we'll take the oil filter off. For changing the oil filters, I have um, uh, two different... Uh, brands here. We have the um, Man Filter W610-7 and the Bosch Filter P2041. I guess these are the same for a lot of Hondas as well, not just the Type R, so whichever you want to use. And then in terms of oil, um, so there's lots of different um, oil you can use. I'm not going to advertise for this company, but um, I'm using 5W30 um, fully synthetic. I happen to say Ford on it, but it's there's loads of oil that's um, basically the same as each other. But it's uh, I'm only 5W30. It depends on the uh, climate that you operate in the car and things like that. So as long as it's fully synthetic, um, it should be okay. Um, so now you can hear this is almost actually fully drained. Do you hear? If you get right down to here, you'll be able to hear it. So you can hear it starting to drain, and then you'll see instead of this being a solid tube. Lower. Instead of this being a solid tube, you start to see air bubbles in it. So, almost at that point. And then just look up here. Just make sure that it's bottomed out fully. Sometimes this might start draining early um, because you're not the whole way down to the bottom of the sump. So make sure that's pressed in there. A couple more press, a couple more pushes on the pump. And uh, just make sure that's fully drained. And then we can get to um, undoing the oil filter. Now, if you're lucky, um, you can undo it by hand, <laughs> or if you're not, you have to use some tools. Now, be careful because one thing uh, you have to think about is that it's right next to the exhaust manifold. If you look down the back, see on the left? Is that it? Yeah, that's it. Um, the can down there is what you're doing, but you're right next to the exhaust manifold. Um, so you've got to be careful because that's obviously hot. You want to get the engine warm so the, en the oil is uh, more runny and therefore all of the oil will come out in an easier way. If you do it when the, it's cold, um, basically all the oil will be, um, you know, it'll be thicker, so it's hard to actually pump out. So do it when it's warm, and then all the oil should be able to basically drain down to the bottom of something, and you can just whip it out. So the problem with that is that it's hot, so you want to mind yourself on that. I tend to use um, gloves um, to do the job. Um, so you can grab some Welding gauntlets or something like that, so even if you do touch yourself on it, these are the gauntlets. Um, I've done many messy jobs. Um, so these are actually for welding, but and uh, you can really get a nice purchase on them. So I'm going to try with these, and if not, the second option is this. So this is the claw. Imagine this is the back of the engine. Here's the claw. I go anti-clockwise. You see the arms going that way and then it grips eventually and then I can then just turn it and the whole thing will come off. Obviously the opposite, when I go like that, I can tighten it on, but to be honest with you, you do not need to put these ridiculously tight. Some people, I don't know why you'd use a tool to tighten up. Don't use the claw. Do not use the claw to tighten up, just do it hand tight. Um, remember, put a smudge of oil around the ring and remove it and put a little drop of oil around here, I'll show you that. 
and then just spin it on by hand, easy peasy. But don't just, don't put it up ridiculously tight because then the next time someone else has to have this tool or they won't have a hope in hell of getting off. Just make sure the oil's out. But you have to do this first because obviously the filter's halfway up the engine. If you try and take off the filter without draining the oil, you'll be left with oil coming out the back and all over your driveway or wherever you're working, so don't do that. So in with the gauntlet. And I'm gonna, it's gonna be impossible to see. I'm just gonna be turning anti-clockwise. <laughs> As expected, it's too hard to get off like that. This is the core. So you can see as I rotate it, it'll tighten up. So put it in first like that and just untighten it a little bit and then snap on. So that's how you initially have it set. I'm trying to get in here. We have the new oil filter. And one thing you it's a good thing to do is just pour a little bit of oil out and then just tip it around the edge. Okay, try and get it in here as well. So you can just get the actual hold of the seal lubricated. Obviously you don't want the outside lubricated as well because you need to get some kind of purchase on it. And just make sure that's like that. And then just screw that in. You won't see this, but just screw it back in down the bottom. Put all the filter on by hand. Um, make sure there's no remaining oil left in there. And then just fill it up and uh, to the fill line. Um, so then when, when you've actually uh, filled it up obviously in there and then what you want to do is you wipe it clean to make sure there's nothing on it and definitely no oil on it and then you just need to go between the min and the max line um, you've got to remember that the oil filter itself takes like a coke can's worth of oil as well so even if you go slightly high initially or even if you go to the top line for example initially after you run the engine and the oil pump will take a coke can out of there so you'll probably need to put again at least a coke can back in it um, just to make sure you're back up to top so once you've run the engine very briefly turn it off and then um, just check your oil level again.